Many people have wondered what it would be like to drive an F1 car. Unfortunately, most people don't have a million pounds in their bank account to find out. But through the wonders of modern technology, the Oculus Rift DK2, Live for Speed and a BMW Sauber that's simulated in Live for Speed, we're going to find out kind of what it's like to drive an F1 car through a fictional city that somewhat resembles Birmingham. Okay, so we're in Esso City, which as I say is a fictional track, but the car is a real or simulated real BMW Sauber. As we go, red light, green light, go, 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 AI with me. I've only put five cars in here because I don't want to crash into them. Oh my god, as the walls go past us at the speed of light. I've turned traction control off, I believe, or for the most part. There goes red, and there goes AI. Oh god, he's clipped me, but I'm okay. As soon as you put the throttle on, the rears light up and the back steps out. But the car is really controllable. But this track with the Oculus Rift headset is ridiculous. You, the walls are right next to me. I could stick my arm out of the cockpit and uh, touch them if I wanted to. Well, that's what it feels like. And the sunset, is the, the, the light's lighting up my trousers. looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to break, take this nice and slow. Don't want to understeer off the roundabout. Oh god, <laughs> it's the back end of the car again, having to snap correct it. Oh my god, I would not do this in real life. Well, I, I would if I had big enough trousers to accommodate what would be in my trousers to want to do this in real life on this kind of track. Oh my god, through there, maximum speed, braking early again, taking this easy as a slide around that and... Uh, AI driver rear-ending me, probably wondering why I'm going so slow, but it doesn't feel slow to me. Through the chicane, up here, got to break a bit because the car tends to slide out into that wall. Thankfully, this race is only three... Oh, God! Three laps! <laughs> he's gone! He's lost it! Thankfully, this race is only three laps long. Uh, I'm in third out of five, which is good enough for me. I'm not dead, and I'm happy. Try and break a bit later here. Hopefully, do the final lap will be okay. This is absolutely insane and fantastic fun. If you've ever wanted to get a, a loose idea of what it's possibly like to handle an F1 car, um, this is probably the closest you're ever going to get in your bedroom. Oh my god, that is crazy. The car, the downforce sticking the car to the road through there, but it still feels as if you're going to die. Oh dear, I cannot wait for more simulators to support the DK2 and have tracks like Monaco. Oh, nearly hit the wall and he's coming up behind me. I'm going to stay on the left-hand side. You can check your wing mirrors by just looking. Oh, he's gone past me. That puts me in fourth place. But I'm still alive and that's what's important. Can you imagine doing a 40-lap race in this? Uh, not right now. <laughs> this is going to be so good. A little bit more practice and... Well, this is where sim racing is at now. Oh, this part of the track is ridiculous. I think that's it. Uh, no, there's the finish line. Finished. Oh, don't slow. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Uh, I can't think of a more enjoyable thing to do with a with a home computer. Woo! That's just a four-lap race against AI in the BMW Sabre in Live for Speed. Absolutely incredible. You have to try it out. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and like and watch my other videos. And I'm going to get back in to lift the speed and do some more driving because it's just ridiculously good fun. Goodbye.